Mmm. Woo, doggy. Let's go. All right, what are we doing? We are so so. Okay, so here's the deal. The deal is is that is that my my good friend, at least currently friend, <laughs> Barbarian, aka Barbarous King on Twitch. Give me a, give me a link to Barb's. But yeah, Barb made me dislevel. He made me a level previously that some of you may re re remember. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. It was a water level called Master and Commander. <laughs> Barb is a piece of shit. Barb is a giant motherfucking dick. Barb is a piece of shit. Why would you do this to me, Barb? And fortunately, this does not appear to be a water level because we would have to sing that damn song again if it were a water level. So maybe we'll make up a new song. I don't know. Maybe we won't have to because Barb is such a nice guy. I think I think he wanted to make me a level that I would find really fun, a creative level that I'm going to enjoy. So that's what that's what I'm hoping. But just in case that's not the case, I've made this little counter here. Dick move counter. All right, so we've got, we currently, we currently have no dick moves by this level. However, we're going to be keeping track <laughs> the most epic piece of shit to exist in the world. <laughs> a, a very, a very fair introduction by Deaf Man. Thank you. So we have this dick move counter and we'll see. We'll see how far the dick move counter gets. All right. I feel like, I feel like if the counter gets to about three, that's about when we ban Barb, but you know, <laughs> it depends. It depends on how dickish the dick moves are. So I know absolutely nothing about this level. However, it's called Carl's Yoshi Barbecue. So I'm assuming we're gonna be killing some Yoshis. No promises that I'm gonna be able to beat this in one stream. Uh, my limit for when, for when I start to go brain dead is about two or three hours. That shot up level was definitely pushing it. Um, and Barb straight up said that this might not be stream safe for me. So it currently has zero clears. Always a good sign. <laughs> Always a good sign. So let's go. Carl's Yoshi Barbecue. I've also been playing a whole bunch of Dram 2 Super Mario World. So my, my physics might not be so good. I just tried to spin, okay, first thing I did was I tried to spin jump with the fucking A button, which is spin jump in Super Mario World and not in this. But I think we just missed our ride. Do we have a, do we have a dev exit? I see a, the, the little thing ends right here. Give me that dev exit. Whee! Oh, I just tried to spin jump again with it. Holy shit. All right, looks like it's set up so that I will be able to just do an instant jump. <laughs> okay, we either need to do a late jump. Yeah, take, place your bets. Yo, that wasn't bad. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I hope there's another egg. Please be another egg. Was that the only egg? Ugh, one try everything, but that was not bad. That was not bad. Well, I'm glad I found that right now. <laughs> I'm glad I found that right now. I feel like we're gonna just increase that dick move counter. But yeah, take. I feel like I feel like 42 dick moves. How are you supposed to do? Is it? A, it's not a winged one. I don't get how, what I'm supposed to do. Do I have to hit the hidden block in order to save the Yoshi? I've got an idea for that part. Like. How do I get? So if I do, if I spawn the hidden block, it will save the falling Yoshi egg. But how do I? I don't know what to do. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> I was thinking I could like tongue the Yoshi egg, but that doesn't sound promising. What the fuck do I do? So there's a trick where if you jump off of Yoshi and you bonk your head, you can actually get back on the Yoshi. Oh, that must be it, actually. I do think that's it. Okay, I'm actually glad it's... That's it! Okay, see, that was it. So I got back on the Yoshi. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to do that and then re-piece off the Yoshi again after that to get up there. I hope I'm not overcomplicating it. I might be overcomplicating it, but I'm pretty sure that that's all we're gonna... That looks... Looks to me like the right thing to do. Oh man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm, getting it done. All right. All right. Well, I'm assuming we're gonna. I should have looked further down there, but my guess is throw the mushroom. So. Huh, huh, mm. What the fuck? <laughs> 
What the fuck was I supposed to do? Um, maybe we do want a damage boost. If we do get back there, so like when you spit something out with Yoshi, you can kind of spit it out. Ugh, there we go. All right, let's try this. So you can so you can spit something out with Yoshi at two different speeds. No, oh, no, oh, maybe. Why the fuck is there a spring down there? <laughs> is the spring for later or what? But yeah, like if you jump off a of Yoshi really fast, fuck. Um, you spit stuff off slower. Actually, I don't think it works with mushrooms, though. Is that only with shells? That might only be with shells. Either way, I feel like I need to, um, I feel like I need to collect the mushroom, but I'm not sure the best place to spit it to do that. So we need to figure that out. In a parallel universe, I already, I already finished this level. I don't know, I'm pretty sure that in every parallel universe, I have not yet finished this level. <laughs> okay, I could also spit the mushroom to the left. <laughs> I feel like that was- I feel like that might be the way to go because when I spit to the left I can maybe get some more acceleration too. Does it work like that? I don't know. I, this is actually really precise, so I think what I probably need to do is I need to come up with some kind of a nice visual cue for exactly when to jump off the Yoshi. Maybe if I jump a little early? Yeah, that's good. If I jump a little bit early it lines up right with the coin. Okay, we're gonna try... I didn't- I pushed the Super Mario World button to jump off of you. <laughs> There's a universe where you never stop doing one more. <laughs> oh my god. I did the exact same fucking thing! Alright, the plus side, we're getting this down. Fuck, see, I need to spit it- I'm pretty damn sure I need to spit it to the left, or I'm never gonna do that. Uh, I, c I can't go in the pipe, for anybody wondering. It would be nice if we had a little troll there. Oh man, actually, um, I just recently finished this really, really cool project that's part of our uh, human papillomavirus vaccine. Nice. Hold on! Yo! My god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm trying to throw the shell, get the other shell, do a shell jump, grab the fucking... Dude, this is ridiculous! But yeah, I'm working on a... Um, I'm working on a, a project um, to make a human papillomavirus vaccine, and part of that is we kind of make some, we make some like empty viruses, like they're viruses that don't, well hold on, we're actually getting shit done. I think I need to land, like, there's not enough time for me to do it like this. I think I need to like land directly on it, dude, I don't even know. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I need to like land on the mushroom at the same time as the beetle. But anyway, I got to use this this awesome device called an electron microscope. And I'm if we get if we get super dead or super sidetracked, I might bust out a picture from that. Dude, this part sucks. This part sucks. Barb sucks. Why did I agree to do this? Why did I agree to do this? This might be the end of my friendship with Barb. You guys can you guys can watch it, watch it crumble before your eyes. Um, it was transmission electron microscope. So yeah, I've mentioned this before, but if you guys want to look up cool science pictures... Oh. Fuck, I need to turn around more. I'm trying to do it too fast, and Yoshi has like a delay timer, so after you extend Yoshi's tongue... There's like a little bit of a delay timer before you can... BOOM! There we go, baby! I didn't do... <laughs> I did nothing! I did... I did something right, but only something. Oh. Yo! Okay, there we go. Okay, I got it, I got it. Yo, we in there making progress. That part's starting to get consistent. Well, that was not a double shell jump, but I think that that was the right idea, so that's good. No way, but anyway, yeah, so I got to use this really dope microscope. It was super awesome. It can do it can do about two hundred thousand times magnification, which is what you need to see tiny little viruses. All right, let's see if we can get the timing for this. That was closer. I'm trying to figure out where exactly I want to throw the first shell so that it comes down on my head like that. All right, this is good. This is fine. Oh, okay, I, I need to throw that- I need to throw that shell further over. Alright, we're starting to get it down though. Why are electron microscope pictures only black and white? Because all you're measuring is whether an electron hits something or not. 
whether the electrons pass through something or not. So there's no, there's no data about what the whole idea. Okay. So let me just rant for a second here about color because there's a lot of people. And I was like this too, who like, you know, you'll look at this like beautiful space picture or something and then you'll be like, oh, it's not really that color or just, just in general to be like, oh, it's not really that color. Like science is lame, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, no, it's like actually, yo, hold on, wait. Okay. Oh, we saved the Yoshi. Is that it? I feel like, what happens if we, what happens if we do, you know what I'm saying? Like, what happens if we do this kind of a thing? Oh, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Um, I feel like I do a pow drop. I feel like I'm gonna drop this and then get on the Yoshi. I'm not 100% sure that's gonna work though. Let's just, let's just try dropping it like the next time the Yoshi comes out and I'll just fall down onto it. What? That's the how are you supposed to have time to do anything? What the fuck was that? Do I need to do a pow drop instead? And then maybe I would get on the Yoshi sooner if I like do a pow drop. Oops. If I like do a pow drop into the Yoshi. That was that was really weird and interesting, but the way that I did it, I definitely don't have enough time to make that happen. Oh. Well, now we have to do a double shell jump every time we want to try that again. So that's we got that going for us, which is nice. <laughs> You got that going for us. So anyway, anyway, you guys, you look at this Yulia's picture, you're like, oh my God, space is really cool. Whoa. And then it's just like, actually, no, those are like fucking like x-rays and UV and all these other things. And it's like, you can't actually see that. And it's like, it's like, people are like, oh, that makes it less cool. It's like, no, man. Like the actual world is even more cooler than what we can see. Like the fact that the fact that we can only see a small bit of the of all of the light that exists is a limitation of our eyes like not a limitation of the universe for us to be able to see it like it's actually even cooler to me that there's all of this light that you can't see with your eyes it's no different there's nothing that makes the light that we can see special like so it always wait maybe i can make hold on wait that actually does work i need to not i need to not not give up so fast all right there we go Cool, cool, cool. How do you splice genes? Well, actually, that's a really great question, Zell Sniss. Um, so a fundamental thing about, you know, molecular biology in the last, like, I would say 30 years, maybe even a little longer, is the ability to take genes and alter them. Put two genes together, genes from one organism in another organism, all of that shit. And so there's a couple of answers to that question, but people have found like so it's a lot easier to do like originally people figured out how to do it in bacteria because the thing is is it's like okay if you like you know open up a cell and change its dna and that kind of a shit you know that's gonna that's gonna kill shit that's gonna that's gonna damn it that's gonna damage cells uh so for bacteria it kind of works out okay it doesn't work out so great until very recently for other things um, I would love to give a more complicated answer to that, and maybe I can, but it's kind of hard to play Kaiser levels at the same time. So let me, let me concentrate on this for a second here. And then once I, once I've given up hope on ever beating this level, then we'll go back to that. But I would love to, I would love to address that one a little bit more, because it's actually really cool and it's kind of what I do, so. Okay, here's my plan. Egg comes out, passes screen, jump, jump, jump. Okay, egg comes out, passes screen, jump, jump, go. Mm, egg comes out past the screen, jump, jump, maybe run from right here. One, two, run from right here, go. I wanna, I wanna basically run into that egg. So I need to come up with a timing for this. One, two, run into the egg? No, see, the, see if, I, if I get too close to the pipe too fast, the egg won't come out. So I need, to, I need a slightly slower timing than that. One, wait a sec, one, then go. There we go. See, that's the timing that I want, just like that. Maybe I'll do um, one, two, go. Okay, see, that's what I want right there, baby. Let's try this. Let's try this. All right. One, nice big jumps. Fuck your level, Barb. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, this trick is cool, but fuck, man. Ah. Dude, I, I do it so well and I still get nothing. I still get absolutely nothing. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna increase the dick move counter because while these tricks are cool, like, fuck man, give me some, give me some time to think. Like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on. 
giving you I'm giving you a dick move for giving me a level to beat that's this fucking hard on stream. Like, goddamn. All right. This level is fucking hard. Maybe what I want to do, maybe I'm not doing this right, actually. I don't know if there's actually any benefit in me. No, I don't know. I think I have to, I don't fucking know. I don't actually get how this works. We're gonna try it again the way I was doing it. All right, two jumps. One, two, go. Fuck. <laughs> See, the Yoshi doesn't hatch if the Yoshi doesn't like fucking land on the egg, which is a little bit crazy. Okay, what's the fucking strat here? To go again, yeah. See, this is dicks, man. This is dicks. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I died right in that egg opening animation. I've never seen that. I've never seen that little graphic like that before. Uh, but anyway, to touch a little bit more on the guy's question, he's like, yo, how do we edit genes? The original way, like, th again, 30 years ago or so, was people discovered that there are these, like, naturally occurring, you can, a lot of people call them, like, molecular scissors. Basically, shit that, it, that life has already invented that cuts genes, cuts DNA. So we just kind of take those and use them to cut DNA, DNA ourselves. And, for example, this was how, like, people took the human gene for insulin. This is a not, it's not just a double shell jump, it's a motherfucking tight double shell jump. Give me a fucking break, Barb, goddamn. Like, goddamn. The fucking thing is way higher than it needs to be. Like, he doesn't just want me to do a shell jump. He wants me to do, like, a goddamn perfect shell jump. <laughs> Max height fucking shell jump right there. So I feel like, I feel like I might want to just sit here and just kind of poop this under the Yoshi egg rather than this like crazy elaborate timing that I'm doing. I'm gonna try the poop it under the Yoshi egg strat. That's fucking it. Okay, we were, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, Barb, all right. We were overcomplicating it. Barb, not bad, Barb. That was just Carl overcomplicating the strat. All right, all right, all right. You can have that one, Barb, you can have that one. Yeah, but so anyway, like literally in the 80s, using these using these molecular scissors, people figured out, hey, you can just like, you can you can get the gene for human insulin, and you know, since we can't just make a giant human farm farming humans for insulin in order to give it to diabetics, we can actually just take the gene and give that to bacteria and have bacteria make human insulin, and that is literally how insulin is made currently. So that was the original way that people kind of. Can I have another pow, please? Can I have a pow? Can I have a pow dispenser too, Barb? Please, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Hold on, I'm I'm still increasing the dick move counter though, just because that shell jump is so high. I'm still I'm still increasing the dick move counter. But then nowadays we have our wonderful CRISPR and shit, and you can just like you you can modify fucking anything inside of a living cell. Nice thing about doing experiments with bacteria is like you kill, I don't know, it's like let's say you let's say your success ratio of your experiment is like you kill you kill like out of out of 10 trillion cells, you kill all but one of them. It's like, okay, that's fine. You're going to have you're going to have one bacteria that survives out of like, you know, it's like a small little little tiny tiny little test tube of bacteria. You got 10 trillion in there, they're all gonna die but one. Doesn't matter, you got plenty more where that came from. That's why a lot of stuff originally focused on using microorganisms for genetic engineering. All right, here we go. No, all right, well, all right. We're gonna, so we're gonna do, uh, looks like we're gonna do some kind of a bomb thing after that. I, I do have to hand it to him though. These tricks are all sick so far. These are all new creative tricks. Science, how do the CRISPR work? Well, kind of like those other molecular scissors, people figured out, hey, there's something that cuts DNA a lot more specifically than what we were using before. So that's CRISPR. It's kind of cool because a lot of these things get discovered with people just like, hey, let's just like see all of the weird shit that exists in nature and just kind of like, you know, see what's out there. They're not, they don't know when they discovered the thing that allowed CRISPR and genetic engineering to be a thing. They didn't know that was gonna have that effect. It, it was actually literally just people studying how bacteria destroy viruses um, because bacteria cut viruses, they cut the DNA. And so people were like, hey, we can use this shit that bacteria used to cut virus DNA to cut any DNA. And that's that's literally how genetic engineering became a thing. Ooh, okay, this is good. See, I think I got this now. I just need to actually like perform under pressure because it takes so long to get back here. It just like increases the stakes. 
This looks good. No! I need to wait! I need to wait! No, that was too late. I did it too early. And so I waited. And then I did it too late. I need to come at the right time. First try, let's go. Let's go. Let's go! What the fuck? Bob, no! No! No, Bob, no! Let me have it! Let me feel good about myself! No! No, dude! This one, this one's, this one's for you, buddy. This one's for you, motherfucker. Uh, dude, can I, can I increase the dick count? Can I increase, can I increase the dick move counter twice for that one, please? God. I feel like that deserves increasing the dick move counter twice. <laughs> so that means we're gonna have to do like a max height. Cause I like, I didn't have room, you know? Like I didn't have room to wrap around that. There was no room to do the spring jump any further out than that. So like, so I'm gonna have to do a max height spring jump, wrap around to the side, come back. Dude, and then that's just like, like where, where do the Kaizo blocks even end? Like, I, ho I hope there's just a row of them right there. <laughs> uh, Forensics has grown under scrutiny in courts uh, because need for statistics. Well, I didn't hear the rest of that, but yeah, dude, like fucking uh, polygraphs, like the lie detector things, and even like fingerprints and shit. Those things are borderline pseudoscience. There's been, there's been a lot of work on this lately, but basically a lot of the like techniques used for criminal investigation are shitty science, or at least, at least like, you know, scientifically plausible or, or they can be done right. But a lot of the time, the way that they were being employed was not in a way that was scientifically valid. DNA tests too. So there's this technology called polymerase chain reaction. And it is a way of creating lots of DNA from a small amount of DNA. And it is revolutionized molecular biology. Like it is an awesome technique um, because you can like take a cheek swab from somebody and acquire any gene in the entire human genome. Or you can like take just a little swab of like, you know, um, like an, a classroom or like an airplane or something. And you can, you can answer a question like, is Ebola virus here? Or like, is HIV here? Something like that. So you can do some really cool shit with it. Um, but so what you can also do with it is you can be like, hey, in this, you know, crime scene, was this person here? Is there DNA there? And the problem with it is because it like requires just a tiny, tiny amount of DNA in order to work, it's so easy to get false positives. It's so easy to have it to have a PCR positive for something that's not actually positive. It, it can amplify something that wasn't actually there, it wasn't actually fully there. And so when you're using this to be like, you murdered somebody or something like that, it's like, you gotta be really fucking sure. <laughs> so there's been a lot of scrutiny about this lately. Do you believe that AI can create more human jobs than they can destroy? I have no idea. I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert at either AI or economics or anything related to that. I do know that in the past, we've always, you know, found ways to have technology get rid of shitty jobs and create a lot better jobs as a result. I'm hopeful that AI can do that. Like, you know, we're not all working on fucking farms anymore because, you know, we invented a whole lot of really awesome technology. Dude, let's fucking go! This looks like a bump. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? That's like two in one. Whatever happened to spacing out the trolls? All right, come here, Barb. Come here, Barb. Come here, Barb. Look at this, look at this. Here you go. See this, Barb? See this, Barb? There you go. There you go, right there. <laughs> right there. Well, dig move counter. Dig move counter. I'm gonna call that two dig moves because he put two trolls back to back, made like a fucking max height spring jump and just like wrecks you right after you got wrecked by the previous one. And it's that deep into the level. I'm counting that as two dick moves. That, that was a, that was a, that was a really big dick move. <laughs> Where are the fish come from? <laughs> Let's go, no time to think. I didn't, I <laughs> should have thought about it. That was definitely a cheap, cheap move right there, Barb. Dude, it's because Yoshi hasn't spawned yet. I'm pushing the tongue button, but the Yoshi hasn't freaking spawned yet. 
Okay. <laughs> Come on, it doesn't need to be this high! Dude, it doesn't need to be this high. Give me a fucking break. Please, holy shit. Okay, where's the fish? I'm just gonna, okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure that this is, let's look over here. Yeah, I'm, there's another fish! There's two fish! Yo, 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 that's not okay. What else you got for me, bitch? What else you got? I'm waiting. What else you got for me, Barb? What else you got? I can wait. I can wait all day. Oh, God, dude. All right. How much more is there? Where's that checkpoint, dude? Where's that fucking checkpoint? I fucking nailed that bomb drop. I nailed that bomb drop first try. We're never gonna do it again. We're never gonna get back there. And then we have to fucking get on this like colossal Satan Yoshi drop from all hell, man. My plan was maybe it'll take us like an hour to get to the first checkpoint or something. At this rate, if we get to the first checkpoint before my stream ends, I feel like it's gonna be a plus. <sighs> <laughs> All right, fish number one, fish number one. All right, hold on, we need to increase that. While we're here waiting for fish number two, let's just go ahead and increase that dig move counter. Just go ahead and dig move number six. Did that second fish come? Did that second fish come? It better have. All right, let's go. That's what I thought was gonna happen the first time. Oh, there we go. That extra, that extra, woo! Wait for the fish. But yeah, so I basically have enough time. To, I, I, if I quit Super Mario Maker or quit playing Kaiser Rom Hacks, then I could do Mario Challenge. But I got addicted to Kaiser Rom Hacks, so that's what I'm working on at the moment. I should just go after the first fish. Has the second fish even come yet? Has the second fish come yet? I don't know if the second fish has come yet. I'm too scared. I'm scared. I'm scared, man. Please. Okay. Oh, you respawn the fish? Really? There is no second fish? Dude, I don't- I don't believe for a second that that wasn't planned. <laughs> the level- if, if that wasn't planned, then like, I think Mario- I think like, Mario Maker itself has like- Barb has tapped into like, the Matrix. Like, Barb has just fused his trolling self with Mario Maker, and the game is like, actively helping Barb troll more now, even in ways that he didn't even imagine or intend. <laughs> Or he didn't test his level because he sucks. One or the other. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, wait for the first fish, and then we go. <sighs> Fuck! There we go. Okay, one fish, and then we go. Let's go, let's do it, right here. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Dude, this level isn't even doing the same thing every time. There was no fish that time. There was no fish. <laughs> Barb level broken. Barb can't even make a functioning level, dude. Level level is nothing but jank. RNG bullshit level. You've seen it here first, folks. <laughs> the fish is alive. <laughs> that was such a fish appointment. Do we have the fish? Dude, this fi the fish is a lie, man. The fish is a motherfucking lie. No! I need to. I keep getting too scared right there. I need to just just take my time. I need to get my time. Officially fake news. Mandela effect in action. Exactly. You guys, you guys are gonna start believing that there was a fish there. You guys, you guys are gonna. <laughs> That joke was awful. O F F A L. Oh my god. How have I not heard that one before? Okay, that one was good. See, you got you guys think there was a fish there, but like, dude, I just I just planted that false memory, man. You guys there was never a fish. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You never saw it. It's just just a fake memory. Is the fish still alive?
What the fuck, dude? Barb just is like sitting in bar. He's just literally like sitting in his command center, just like turning all the troll dials to like fucking add and subtract from this troll nightmare live, dude. Barb is literally just fucking trolling us live. This part sucks. This part is absolute shit. This whole level's absolute shit. Let's just, let's just, let's just, like, let's just get it out of the way while it is right now. Like, you know, like, I always, I try to be nice to people on this stream. Like, whenever I'm playing somebody's levels, you know, even if it's not great, it's like, you know, you wanna, you wanna give constructive criticism or you wanna be nice. No, like, Barb, this, this level is utter shit. <laughs> Do we have the fish? The fish is, the fish is fucking gone again. <laughs> This part is fucking impossible, man, because you know what's gonna happen. I have to land next to the bomb. And for anybody who's played Mario Maker for an extended time, you know what happens when you land next to shit and you want to pick it up. And that is Mar the Nintendo troll gods are like, nah, let's just, let's just fucking kick that again. That'll be fucking hilarious. It's like, it's like tripping in Brawl. It's just like, nah, get fucked. And like, that's totally going to happen if I don't fucking take my time right there. But the problem is, is there is no time to take your time because Barb is a giant dick. <laughs> we need more fish puns. If you have any, let me know. <laughs> like a minnow. I don't know what that sound was. All right, in there. Do we have Mr. Fish? Will he grace us with his presence? Will Barb turn the fish troll dial today? Looks like not. The fuck is this shit, man? What do you even want me to do? You want me to midair grab the Yoshi, go down there, fucking like backwards tongue momentum, jump off the Yoshi fucking right before I die, dude. Just like, no break, man. Nothing. Like, you know, just gonna, gonna, gonna make, gonna just, you know, I want, he's not like, oh, I want Carl to have fun. He's like, no, I want, I want Carl to lose his goddamn mind. Like, Dude, give me a fucking break. We haven't even hit the checkpoint yet. At least, at least lull me into a false sense of security, thinking that the level isn't gonna be nothing but dicks upon dicks upon dicks. As far as the eye can see, land of dicks, just Barb sitting in his troll command center on top of Dick Mountain, just fucking turning all the troll knobs to full. Dude, like, you know, turn him, turn him a little low first, man, and then, and then turn him to dick at the end after you've sucked me in and I can't quit because I can't leave the fucking checkpoint, dude. <laughs> You're so close to the checkpoint. You're doing so good. Dude, I don't believe you, man. Admiral Dick on, Admiral Dick of Dick Mountain, I don't believe you, man. <laughs> I don't believe you, dude. Crawl, crawl back into your fucking mole troll hole. The, the barb hole in the back of Dig Mountain, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, fuck you, Barb. <laughs> I bet- Dude, I am- I am like- I- I am seeing the Kaizu block a mile away after that section. Like, if there's no- if there's no Kaizu block, I'm just gonna be disappointed in Barb at this point. If there's no Kaizu block, like, after the Yoshi jump, I'm Dude, now I know why- I know why I have a stomach ulcer, man. I have a st I have a stomach ulcer for playing levels like this. <laughs> It's, it's been an hour and 11 minutes and we haven't even seen the checkpoint. Fuck this shit, dude! This is absolute dicks, man! How am I supposed to practice that when it takes like fucking 15 minutes just to get back there once? Just to die instantly again to this pixel precise garbage. I feel like when the dig move counter reaches 10, Barb gets banned. Pixel precise garbage. Yep, he's getting banned. He's getting banned. He's getting banned. He's getting banned. Get out here. Get out here. Get out here right now. Get out here right now. Right now. He's getting banned. Right fucking now. Get it out. Get it out here right now. Get it out of here right fucking now slash unmod Barbarous King. Barbarous King is no longer a moderator in this channel. Slash ban Barbarous King.
Actually, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're not gonna, we're not that mean. We're not, we're not gonna stoop to his level, okay? We're not gonna, we're not gonna stoop to his level, okay? He's getting, he's just gonna, I'm just gonna time him out, okay? Time out, Barbarous King. We're going to time him out for 40, let's see, let me do some, let me do some quick math right here, let's see. Uh, let's see, all right, 60 seconds. Do do 3600, there we go. Okay, there we go, blah, blah, blah. All right, there we go. So we're gonna, we're just gonna time him out for 55,188,000 seconds. So see you, see you in 42 years, motherfucker. See you in 42 years. <laughs> so in case anybody missed what happened, <laughs> <laughs> In case anybody missed what happened, <laughs> the magic Koopa destroyed the platform. <laughs> the magic Koopa destroyed the platform below the pipe. And because there's no platform below the pipe, we can't go through it. There's no way to go through it. Oh yeah, wait, that's def- hold on, wait, we gotta increase- we gotta increase the dick move counter. We gotta increase the dick move counter, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I feel like- I feel like I need to add 10 to the dick move counter just for that. We haven't even- just, just keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen. We have not hit the checkpoint yet, like... We have we have been playing for about an hour and a half, and we haven't even hit the checkpoint yet. <laughs> We're still on checkpoint number one. I can't wait to see what's behind door number two. In Barb's fucking troll mountain. Yeah, like imagine that's not even the imagine that's not even the checkpoint. <laughs> imagine that's not even the checkpoint. There is no checkpoint. The, the checkpoint is like the fish, man. Barb Barb can add and remove the checkpoint from the level at will from his command center. From the- from the barbarous- from the- <laughs> Oh god, dude. Barb is a piece of shit. Barb's a motherfucking piece of shit. Barb is a giant dick. Do, 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 fuck you. Barb is a piece of shit. Barb is a giant motherfucking dick. Barb is a piece of shit. Why would you do this to me, Barb? I'm feeling consistency. I'm feeling the consistency. Fuck the fish. I'm feeling. I'm feeling nothing. We get nothing. You lose. That jump sucks. <laughs> That jump sucks. Plans for the first human head transplant. That was one of those things where I just assumed wasn't true, and then I looked into it, and I was like, oh my god, this is true. And then I'm just like, dude, this this kind of shit gives science a bad name. <laughs> like, this, this fucking head transplant is like, literally like, let's fucking sew a head on someone's body. Like, there's fucking no way that's gonna work. <laughs> Though actually people have, in the, the annals of mad science history, People have literally, like, sewn heads of mice together and, like, actually had the- th or, like, sewn bodies together. And actually had it, like, you know, be a functional living thing for a while. Which is pretty fucking... Pretty fucking please stop doing mad science. <laughs> Barb, you- Barb, how does it feel to know that you are actively- That you are actively making all of humankind worse with your levels? How does that make you feel? <laughs> In there! Alright, fuck the fish. Fuck the police. Fuck Barb! <laughs> fuck this level! <laughs> fuck this game! Dude, after Sean hits level and this level, guys, this is it. Like, I've- I've decided- I've decided to announce my retirement from Mario Maker. Like, this is it, you know? This is- I feel like- I feel like we've seen everything there is to see at this point. Like, this is it, you know? This is- this is where, you know, it's, it's starting to go downhill, like, you know, it's time to- it's time to get out. It's time to get out while we still can. 
Dude, this is this is the end. Like, I'm never playing Mario Maker again. This is it. Dude, what the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? How am I supposed to go? Dude, no, 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 dude. What the fuck? Barb is a piece of shit. Barb is fucking Satan. <laughs> Fuck you. Good god, dude. Like, okay, you know, it's gotta be like frame perfect or no. Not good enough for Barb. Not good enough for Barb, you know. If it's not Dude, I have I have watched I have watched Barb complain on stream like 75 separate times, like turn into just a giant salty bag of salt when levels are like, oh, I did the trick. But I didn't do it good enough. I have- there's probably like a clip of Barb raging out there about this exact same horse shit. But he's like, nah, nah, we're gonna- we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna rake Carl over the coals here, like, to show him how much I love him. You know, when it's- when it's somebody else, when it's somebody else, it's fine. Dude. By the way, this level still has zero clears, so it's got that going for us, which is nice. I made him a fun Kaiser level, and he makes me a nightmare. He makes me a fucking manual on how to make a shit level. Like, this is just... It's like cooking with Barb, but like... The only thing on the menu is dicks. <laughs> like, you know, you, you, can get, you can get a fucking... You can get a dick sandwich, you can get grilled dicks. You can get like fucking dicks and dip, man. Fried dicks. Nothing but dicks, man. Nothing but dicks. And all of and all of them are salty as fuck. But they're not even they're not even like moist dick. That they're just like pure salt covered garbage. Pure salty salt dick sala mode. Uh, oh my god, dude. Mm. Let's go. Let's get it done. Right here. Right now! Fuck! Uh, Masawasa donated 420 and says, Carl, what is going on right here? I thought you a man of no fear, yet Barb kicks your ass. You made no progress. I think I need another beer. Oh! Carl, what's going on right here? I thought you a man of no fear, yet Barb kicks your ass. You made no progress. I think I need another beer. Love from Amsterdam. Yo. I don't know what's weird. I don't know what's weirder. To be quite honest, to be quite honest, like, if you guys ever thought, like, like, what's weirder, you know, like, that there's this, that, that there's, like, fucking Barb, there's just fucking Barb sitting on Mount Dick in his fucking command center, just sitting there making levels like this, or that there's someone crazy enough to sit here playing them for hours and hours and hours, throwing my face into this, or that there's fucking people who are just, like, so twisted that they just want to sit at home and fucking watch this entire process happen. Like, I don't know who has more, I don't know who has the bigger problem here. Barb, me, or all of you. <laughs> Control panel, dude, exactly. Emphasis on the troll. Despite what it may seem, I actually love playing levels like this. And Barb is actually a really cool dude. So thank you, Barb, for making this level. Thank you, Fish, for never spawning. Thank you, Bomb, for always cooperating. Get in that fucking pipe! Let's go! No! No! You said it was the checkpoint! You fucking said it was the checkpoint, dude! What? <laughs> dude, I take everything back. I take everything back. Hold on. We're just gonna... Dude, we're just... We're up in... We're up in the dick move counter. Straight... We're just skipping straight to 10 right now. We're skipping straight to 10. 
What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this horse shit? thing was fake it was all a trap it was fucking it was this oh. dude it was as fake as this level design was good man is as fake as this level design was good yo yo easy every time yo let's get in there <sighs> All right, so what's this shit? This is still Bix. Just seen. <laughs> oh my god, sorry, sorry, I was in. All right, well, I mean, the dig, the dig move counter is is just is just is just soaring right now. Sorry, the thing was in the way, but basically, there's a door in the bottom left that also has a spike on it. Which just looks, which just looks all sorts of bad. You know, I was thinking maybe that's not the real exit. And maybe, and I actually looked for hidden blocks, but I didn't look in the right spot for hidden blocks. So we still got absolutely annihilated. Mm. <laughs> Woo, doggy! Alright, well, that's a thing. Surely we're only going to have to replay this entire shit fest one more time. Surely now this is... Dude, I've forgotten how to do this part. I've, it's like exited my brain. Like, the troll... The troll was so severe that, like, the actual way that I had learned to do this section is completely gone. <laughs> it's just like, you know what? Maybe Carl won't keep doing this if I just forget all about it. Like, I've just- I've started to just forget the rest of the level because it's so traumatic. What is by my face cam? When I'm down there, so there's a- when I'm- when I'm down at the end of the level, there's a door in the bottom left corner with a spike above the door. So it looks like it's gonna be a shit fest to get into it. Uh, like jump off Yoshi but somehow don't hit the spike. But I got a sneaky suspicion that that's a troll exit and we should not try to do that. I know why, it's because I'm getting a running jump now. Uh, when I was doing that before, I wasn't getting a running jump, so I throw the shell at a different timer. Oh. I, I was so happy when I got back there twice, and then he just fucking took it all away. Dude, I don't even know anymore. This level's dead to me at this point. <laughs> this level- this level is officially dead to me. He's just like, the checkpoint's just through the door, dude, and then it's just like, oh, that'll be another 45 minutes with like 18 more trolls. No, <laughs> yo, that mid-air input. <laughs> uh, I am Maestro donated five dollars and says they're apparently making a new passion. What? What? <laughs> oh god! All right. Well, I was like, you know, I don't know if I want to really read a religious thing, but I'm gonna read this one because this is fucking hilarious. They're apparently making a new Passion of the Christ movie, but people are mad that they're using a non-Jewish actor for Jesus. They ended up just calling it the Uncut Edition. Oh my god! I laughed. I laughed. It was good. It was good. It was good. It was almost as good as what do you call a cheap circumcision? A ripoff? Dude, I'm 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 actually loving as the stream progresses, watching the um watching the clear rate on the warp bar continuously go down. Like when we fucking shit, dude. Like when we started. It was at like 0 out of 300, and now it's at 0 out of 1200. <laughs> Let's go! <sighs> Fuck! My brain doesn't even work anymore. It's just been replaced by pictures of me just like... <laughs> it's just been replaced with me killing Barb in every way possible. Every, every time I close my eyes, like, I see that magic Koopa knocking the, knocking the stone block out from underneath me. 
If I smash the shells together... <laughs> One more time! No! <laughs> Why am I smashing them together? This never- this wasn't happening before! This wasn't happening, I don't know why it's happening now. This always happens when you're playing really hard levels though, like... You get better at them, and then you get worse at them. And then you get better at them, and then you get worse at them. I think what's weird is I, I just happened upon a strategy that worked really well for that double shell jump. But I didn't really know what I was doing, I was just doing it. And now that I've lost it, I can't bring it back. It's just gone. Dude, I can't every time. Ah! Every time I just smash the shells now it's over. All right, let's fucking go. <laughs> fucking shit, dude. Fucking shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? This never happened before. Yo, Veil Straws, I donated $5. And I will check out that message as soon as I die again. Which we never, because we're gonna beat the level. Right here. <laughs> right here, right now. Carl Soul, I've heard this level had a carp of fishes. Halibut, hopefully you don't flounder, and eel be great. If you cut reach if you cod reach the checkpoint before the end of the bream. <laughs> Is bream a type of fish? Oh my gosh. Uh, to be honest, I've only got like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so left. So, if we can't beat it this stream, we will pick up where we left off next stream. But I do want to get that checkpoint today, so we are gonna, we are gonna try our hardest to get that motherfucking checkpoint right fucking now. Right fucking now! Let's go! Back in, baby! Back in there! Okay, so for those of you just joining us, this is lying bullshit. There's no way to make that jump, or if there is a way to make that jump, man, I don't fucking know what it is. So, there's this shit here. I'm gonna move my- I'm gonna move- I'm gonna move my Carl. Move my head. Move my head, dude. Alright, alright. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. Vomit on my sweater already, let's go! So we figured out, see look at this fucking door, we figured out there's this Garbo right here. Now do we climb back up here? Can I make this jump? I've got a sneaky suspicion, I've got a suspicion that that door is fucking trash garbage troll lies. Nothing but lies. Can we make... I don't know how many, how many Kaizos are there? Do I go in the door, or do I like... I wish I could see this shit, man. I wish I could see this shit. I think I can get through! I think I can get through there! Did I hit a block? I think I can get through there! Wait, I think there's three blocks and the fourth one isn't a block! Dude! Dude! I- let me try this again. Nope! Okay! Okay! I hit the last one! Okay! 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 I hit the last one! I hit the last one! Okay, I hit the last one. <laughs> okay, we're going in the fucking door. We're going in the fucking door. We're going in the fucking door. I'm scared! I'm too scared! I'm too scared, dude! I can't take this anymore! I don't want to get back here again, dude! Mm. Alright. <sighs> deep breath! Deep breath! Mm. We're going in the door, y'all. We're going in the door. We're going in the door. Let's fucking go.
It's fucking over, man. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's fucking done. Barb's just like, oh, the checkpoint's right around the corner, Carl. You're almost at the checkpoint, Carl. You just got one more far before the checkpoint, Carl. It's not gonna be bad. You're almost there, Carl. Ugh. I'm Barb. Ugh. You're almost there, Carl. All right. Well, on the plus side, after that happened, like I don't even care anymore. Like the level, the level's dead to me, guys. The level's dead to me. Let's just talk about science. Like the level is this is just. Let's just let's just turn this into science and chill. Like I'm fucking. The level, the level is just fucking dead to me, man. <laughs> I have no emotions anymore. It's over. It's fucking over. Remember Skyzo88? Oh my gosh. Yeah, actually, that was what you mean back when Barb knew how to make good levels? Is that what you're trying to talk about right now? The, the glory days of when, before Barb, like, before Barb was past his prime and knew how to make good levels? All right, here's what we need. We need, we need a little, we need to, we need to remember. We need to remember everybody. We need to remember, we need to relax a little bit and just take a look at this nice, nice relaxing image of our universe. This is, for anyone who isn't aware, this is a really, really cool image called the Hubble Deep Field, also known as the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. And what happened for this picture is, so, so you know, the, the Hubble Space Telescope is this like huge ass telescope that was orbiting the planet so that it could take an even better picture of stuff without interference from the atmosphere. So what someone decided was they were gonna po they were gonna point the Hubble Space Telescope at a part of the sky that had nothing in it. So to your naked eye and to other all previous equipment, there was nothing in this region of the sky. It was just black. And they took like many different exposures over the course of many weeks. And what they got back was this image. The piece of sky with nothing in it was filled to the brim with galaxies. So every single dot, smeck, speck, smudge, every single thing on this whole image is not a star, but a galaxy, presumably containing billions of stars. So there you go. Let you, I'll let you all let you all just just ponder ponder existence for a while while I throw my face into this level. <laughs> what resolution is that picture? Big fucking big fucking big by fucking big. <laughs> but yeah, then in the like ultra deep field, they took the original and they touched it up a bunch and stuff like that. People, some people still believe there's no intelligent life out there. It, it would be like the the size of the universe is literally like whatever whatever big you whatever you think that your brain can do in terms of thinking of big things. It's like that much bigger than that. Like it's just incomprehensible. So yeah, it is. I I have I probably think that there is life out there. Like I don't know. It's 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 crazy both ways though. You know, like what if we are the only life? That would just be like. That would just be like, uh, I, I don't know, what, what do you guys, what, what would you rather? Would you rather that we live in a universe with other life forms in it? Or that we're special and humans are the only life out of all of those galaxies, each with all their, all their stars, we are the only living things on this planet. I, I agree that like, it is actually scary though, if there is other intelligent life, because you know, imagine they just roll over here and just fucking like, you know, vaporize our asses for resources. So it is, I will agree that it is scary, like thinking of aliens too. Obviously on other planets is what I mean. My mom said I'm special. <laughs> or imagine that there is other, um, imagine there was a good level that I was playing. Imagine that there was, like, imagine there was life all over the universe, but we're the only, like, sentient life. It's another weird question, because at least using Earth as an example, it's clearly a lot easier to make non-sentient life than it is to make sentient life. Let's go, baby, round two! All right, here's my plan. Here's my plan. I don't think it was a bad plan, but I think it was poorly executed. 
I think it was a good plan, okay? I think it was a good plan. Stop laughing at me, it was a good plan. I can feel you judging me from here. <laughs> Where does consciousness come from? Well, I've always thought of it as just a layers of abstraction kind of a thing. I feel like computer scientists are well familiar with this, though. Like, you know, if you think about, like, what is a computer? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on real quick here. Fuck, alright. So if you think about, like, what is a computer? You know, if you're just thinking about what are transistors and just, like, ones and zeros and shit, you know, it, it seems very simple. But as you add more and more and more, you can make ridiculously complex shit, like all of the shit that we're all using right now to, like, fucking play games at the speed of light and talk to all of each other and all this crazy shit that goes into making graphics being rendered at, like, 60 frames a second. This thing is, like, pooping out, like, a fucking million pixels into every spot on your screen and it's updating 60 times a second because that makes any goddamn sense. Like, all that shit. So, I liken, I liken consciousness to that. It's just a very, very complicated arrangement. Transistors are fucking black magic. Dude, exactly. A very, very comp- It's like taking something very simple, like, you know, uh, different cells, different atoms, different things like that. Making them, you know, and then you get like neurons and stuff, and then you just put fucking millions of them together, and out comes magic. And it seems like magic, but things like computers, you know, make me think that, well, you know, we have other examples in our life of things that just appear to be magic when you zoom out and look at them in the big picture. I've lost it. It's all over. Any- what are- what are some other things that, like, are made out of really simple things, but just when they get complicated enough just appear to be utter magic? Oh, that was actually a good throw, I think, but I was too close to the wall. Do you ever think there will be superhumans? Definitely. Like, in both the, like, in both the, you know, we keep, I mean, we already are superhumans compared to people historically, right? Like, you know, magnets, <laughs> women, <laughs> mid-airs. <laughs> oh yeah, asking chat questions, never mind. I, sorry, sorry guys, for a second I forgot I was on Twitch, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, f I thought we were having an intelligent conversation. Sorry, I forgot we were on Twitch. Cap of pride. All right. I won't make that mistake again. Don't worry. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Mm, jump too soon. Jump too soon. Um, but yeah, like, you know, the, whole, the quote, like, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Like, our society, I am sure, would be considered magic to our own ancestors. So, in that sense, we already are, you know, we already are superhumans. Like, the shit that we can do already is ridiculous. Like, you know, we fucking get in a giant metal dragon and just, like, power across the planet, you know, at fucking, like, 500 miles per hour, as if that, you know, we just think that's normal. Alright, I think we're finally... Getting this shit down, let me in there. What do you guys think? Should we take Carl's jank-ass route? Or should we try to do the long jump again? Honestly, I'm gonna try Carl's jank one more time. Yo, what the fuck? Oh my god, that's what you meant by the- There's a vine too! There's a vine too! Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? You do the magic, Koopa. Fucking takes the thing out below me. You do the fake checkpoint. You do the motherfucking Kaizo block. You do the bullshit in the bottom right. You do the crazy ass jump to get through the fucking not hit your head on the goddamn spike. And then there's a dick vine if you go through the door too soon. And there's a blue platform if you go too late. Pixel perfect garbage. Barb, you know you don't like playing those levels. And that's what you fucking make me. Get your you're fucking banned, dude. It's over. It's fucking over. There's no timeout this time, dude. You're just getting the straight fucking ban. Oh, he's already banned? Whoever- whoever banned him, whoever banned him, you're doing God's work. Doing God's work. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. If I- if I submitted this level to Barb, he would bitch me out for days and never play it. <laughs> Barb would not be okay with this. Yo, Trebisan, thank you for the $10, says, uh, two possibilities exist. 
Either we are alone in the universe or we are not, and both are equally terrifying. I agree. I agree. I, I hope, just in case humans fuck everything up, I hope we're not the only thing, in, the only life in the universe. <laughs> or else this universe will just be deemed as a failure. Just go, go try one of the other multiverses. <laughs> this one sucks. I understand that, but a lot of magic and stuff we've made, I'm talking more about what our bodies can do. Uh, let me catch the end of that. Oh, like the flash or something? Um, well, I imagine it will just become more and more like that over time. Like, I mean, uh, now that we have entered the age of genetics, and we understand, like, okay, so, up until now, in human history, humans have been tool builders, you know, that's what we do, right? Like, fire and shit, you know, turns out, turns out fire pretty fucking cool. So humans have always done this, we make tools. Um, you know, this allowed us to, you know, farm and do all that shit, and then we make, you know, we make guns and airplanes and computers and all the crazy shit to do. Because we suck, you know, humans, you know, we ain't, we ain't no prime animal no more, right? So, you know, we, we make other things to do stuff for us, um, which is great. But now that we understand genetics, we actually have the potential to, for the first time ever in history, alter ourselves also, not just you, not just get new tools to do different things that we can do, but to actually make it so that we can do things that we couldn't do previously. Uh, so I think that it is highly scientifically plausible that we will come to a time when we can genetically modify humans. Yeah, so now the tool is that we've created tools that allow us to make our own tools, you know? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm sure it'll start with, like, curing genetic diseases and stuff like that, but, like, you know, even, even things that, like, we, how, how many of you have glasses, you know, how many of you have shitty vision, like, what if we could just change it so that our eyes are better, like, what if, you know, what if we would, like, be able to do so many more things, be more safe, you know, to be able to see better, to be able to hear better from further away, or, you know, all these things. So, we're nowhere near that now, but I foresee it as inevitable eventually in the future. Unless we A, destroy ourselves before then, or B, don't destroy ourselves, but like, become like weird anti-technology, like, <laughs> Luddites or something, where we like, just, where we like, kill all the scientists or something, I don't know. I, I don't think so though, I don't think any of those things are gonna happen. I warned you about the blue platform. You did, but I didn't know where you meant. I didn't know where you meant. I thought you meant when I uh, came out of the door. I thought there was going to be a blue platform when I come out of the door. All right, well, this is still dicks upon dicks upon dicks. Uh, I like how you put the blocks there anyway. All right, we. I feel like we have to just land and then just instantly go in the door. Yo! We're good, right? We're good, right? Like, I'm gonna get- Excuse me while I get a fucking ruler and make sure that Mario is, like, actually above this checkpoint. He's above the checkpoint, right? Like, I don't have to move. I'm not gonna die, right? If I don't drop onto this checkpoint, I'm gonna be- Thank fucking God! Two hours! Two hours! And twenty minutes! First checkpoint. <laughs> oh yeah, Carl, the level will take you about two hours to beat Carl, maybe three, yeah. Uh, uh, bar, bleh, bleh, bleh. Dude, I wanna just I just wanna take this I just wanna take this Yoshi and just fly away to victory. Fly away to victory. Was hoping that would be a soft log. I wonder if I should have kept the the mushroom or something. All right, y'all. All right. Let's just let's just see. Let's just see what we got here. It's this, 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 and then land on it. Okay. Um, I have a sir. <laughs> that was actually sick. What the fuck? Do I have to grab the pow? Oh, I have to grab the pow and respit it lower. Yo, this is actually dope. Yo, Luca B says, Alana Kitty donated 100 bits and says, in regards to your question about if we're alone in the cosmos, I personally think it is simply hub hubris to think that we are the only intelligent life in the entire cosmos. Yeah, it would, I think, 
the odds certainly seem to me to favor that we are not. There's just, there's so many fucking stars. Okay, guys, just, you know, just like, this is, okay, so this Hubble Deep Field picture is calculated out to be about one twenty millionth of the night sky. So if you were to zoom in on one twenty millionth, it might be 12 minutes, it's either 12 minutes or 20 minutes, of the night sky, that's the number of galaxies just that we've been able to see. And then if you think about the number of stars in each, in each galaxy, it is just fucking, fucking crazy, man. So I agree. All right. I have no idea. I just jumped off the edge of that, and I think that that is going to be the end of this level for me. Um, we are gonna finish, we are gonna finish this level, unless Barb is here and he wants to tell me that the next, I will finish, I will keep playing this level right now only if Barb tells me that it is actually easier and shorter to get to the next, um, to get to the next checkpoint. But if there's like, if I got, if I'm one third of the way done or even half of the way done, I do not have time to finish this tonight. And I, oh, Barb's banned, that's right, shit. Oops, he's banned. Fuck this level, fuck everything, fuck Yoshi, get out of here, get out of here, boom, baby! Lost my checkpoint, I don't fucking care, get me out of there, get me the hell out, get me the hell out. We are gonna beat that level, we are gonna beat that level someday other than today. <laughs> fuck, fuck that. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart.